Hello there, this is Big Benedict. We're playing Dark Souls 1 on the PC. This is my walkthrough. We're now on the 24th installment. It is entitled New Londo Ruins Draining the Flood Water. So we're not going to uh, do anything in this video except uh, to lower the water because the whole area is flooded. In the next video we will be dealing with some dark wraiths and opening up the way to the Four Kings. Um, but in between this video and in the next, I'm going to be doing a lot of farming uh, from the Dark Wraiths for chunks and slabs. So, when you come down here now, we are going to... Oh, I'm also going to be picking up, um, and I'll show it in the video. I will show you guys how to get it. The very large ember to ascend normal weapons up to plus 15. So, as you come down here, we're going to use a transitory curse to deal with... Uh, the ghosts and what's basically going to happen is once we turn the the valve at the end of the video um, I just homeward boned my way back to the firelink shrine even though it's not going to be explicitly shown in the video so anyway so let us let us pop a transient curse here for these guys it's nice to get interrupted it's very nice to get hit in the back as well and I um I I'm kind of intimidated about the four kings, honestly. So I think it's better to just do these guys quickly rather than wait and fear them. Okay, so this is an excellent farming area for uh, chunks and slabs even though the slabs are hard to come by so we will be using the covetous gold serpent ring plus um, uh, humanity in excess of 10 if possible to increase our luck drops so flask a little bit come on up here and we are going to trade out these rings here and I'm gonna I'm going to use this ring here to increase my item drops here so that I can get, get some more of these um, transitory curses. So we've got one of these guys right in the way, unfortunately, cock blocking the way, which is okay because we can just double back here, even though we're in peril now. But these ones backed off for some reason. So. I've upgraded my dexterity slightly because I do want to wield the uh, the Silver Knight straight sword as well as the Crystal Halberd uh, because after doing a little bit of research it looks like uh, the Crystal Halberd is a pretty good alternative to um, dealing with the Four Kings so if it could come in handy for the Four Kings that's all the better and perhaps we can even upgrade it although I think we need Twink to upgrade that Let me see here. The very large ember. I may put an addendum at the end of the video to show how to get the very large uh, ember. Because if we're going to be dealing with the four kings, we need as much uh, strength as we possibly can. So if you want to be following my statistical upgrades, I've been favoring vitality and endurance. Those are the two. Okay, so as you come up here, we're going to kick this ladder down. I don't think it goes very many good places, but there may be an item down there, I'm not sure. And then you've got to be careful as you uh, come around here, because sometimes when you're locked on to enemies over here, the lock-on can actually uh, push you off cliffs. So be careful. And you're going to see me take a little stand right here but then decide better of it and make a fucking run for it because we've got all these ghosts and then the one with the red eyes is a banshee so if you come up here before you obtain the seal after you get the lord vessel um, uh, you will not get the key from this guy and he is also someone who can uh, be an ally at the firelink shrine later on if you come back to him after you slay the four kings 
We may do that. We may not. Okay, so he, you can actually come to him to have your curse broken. So he's, so if you are cursed, you can have him at the Firelink Shrine to free you from curse. I, I assume he does it for free. He better not be charging any fucking money for that shit. Okay, so come down here, make another break for it. You're going to be hanging a left. Keep an eye on the transitory curse if it's that uh, dim, uh, dimness. See, see how the the square down there is dim. If it if it's bright, it means that you're no longer uh, cursed, and then you will need to activate another transitory curse. So we're gonna take a right up here, and we're gonna open a gate. Ah, shitters. Up and to the right, there's a humanity and a and a ring, I think. So come on down here. That lever can't be activated quite yet. There's the key. The key to the seal. Here's where we're gonna seal the deal. 